Heartbeat pushing into the 200s, Mike knew that exercise was doing him the world of good. Another day beckoned. Willing himself out of bed, Mike ensured that his morning routine would not be compromised, making sure that everything is clean for the day. Choosing a power outfit, one that says, I'm the boss, but I'm still approachable. Best Having cornflakes. He likes so cornflakes. Sometimes he has a banana Joe on them. The However, he ate the last Mark. banana yesterday and forgot to go shopping last Joe? night. Gee, it's amazing. There are people everywhere wearing their exes. Like most Melburnians, Mike is living with a severe coffee addiction. He won't start work without popping into Sam's first. For some reason, everyone manages to pay their bills when they come to Sam's. Mike loves his job in the city. He even gets a car park as part of his package. He's climbing his way up the corporate ladder. Next stop, Singapore. These guys stuff around all day. They had just better finish off the Henderson report. Seriously blokes, stop stuffing around. Well, job done, Mike is on his way. Later, losers. There goes our fearless leader. Yeah. Slept his way to the top. Yeah. That's what got to be the junior deputy regional head of sales. <laughs> Provisional. Provisional. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying he's Valentino or anything. <laughs> hey. For the life of me, I'll never know why Mike agrees to go on blind dates. The women are either way out of his league or... Mike? Oh, Deborah, I'm sorry. <laughs> How sorry are you? I'm late. How are you? No, no, it's okay. I only just got here myself. Oh, um, I've only been here... have time to plan your escape route? No, no, I don't need to do that. I'm sure you're okay. You look like you were off in some fantasy world. Oh, no, no, no. I was just thinking about... I don't know, don't know what. Um, Blank face. You know, often when you ask a guy what they're thinking, they're actually thinking about superheroes. Really? Yeah. I've been told that a lot. I have Superman on my phone. Mate, uh, move the conversation along. Isn't Batman the, the I don't know. I have Superman on my phone. Would you like some chocolate? Why, why do you... Thank you. They're milk chocolate. I hope that's all right. Thanks. Uh, why would you go Superman you. as opposed to Batman? I always like Superman. Well, but what drew you to Superman? Underwear. Um... <laughs> no, mate. Do you wear your underwear on the outside? Um, sometimes. Really? When I'm at home. Oh, you like a bit of the fantasy stuff. By myself. What sort of wine would you like? They've got, oh, a squealing pig. Sav Blanc. Um... Do you think I could make you squeal? Waiter, check please.
I've had a lovely evening. I have. I've had a lovely time. Really? I was a bit nervous at first. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> could you tell? Just a little bit, just a little bit. But mm. I relaxed you, didn't I? Mm. Yeah, I've had a really good time too. I, yeah, I, I, should, I should go on blind dates more often. No, oh, you won't need to anymore now. So glad my past hasn't been an issue. There it is, mate. Which bit? Oh, I sort of only told you about the whole missing body thing. Yeah? Yeah, it was three months ago now. It's old news. Charges are mostly dropped. <laughs> yeah. Did he actually do anything today? Ah, he yelled at me for using the last instant of coffee and not telling anyone. It's friggin' caterer's blend. Yeah, FFS. Right. Go fish. Ah, for f- I love you. I love you too. Hmm. I love you. What? <laughs> Who the hell are you? Tony! Oh, uh, sorry, Mike. Hey, can I introduce Angela? She's my fiance. Since when? I proposed last night. <laughs> uh, I was hardly going to wake you up for it. Yeah. If you're going to bring new people on board... Nice to meet you, Mike. Wake me up for it. Okay. Sorry, Mike. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have. <laughs> what? So I'm going to have Angela in here as well? Yeah. Is that okay? No, it's not. Why don't you both just go and narrate Angela's person? Oh, well, she's been going to a shrink for years. Pretty, pretty weird if some dude just rocks up and starts co-narrating. What? But it's okay for Mike. <laughs> How does a man even get a female narrator? I told you that things might be awkward, Tony. You said Mike was a nice guy. Angela, I am a nice guy. It just took me a bit of time when Tony came on board. And now I've got you in here as well? Mike, Angela and I are going to be together. And the sooner that you come to terms with it, the better it's going to be for all of us. I just... <laughs> Oh, I'm having a bloody three-way in my head. <sighs> Mike, you're going to have to have a shower sooner or later. I promise I won't say anything. Hey! Oh, Angela, <laughs> Sorry. Stop. Tony, you take care of this part of my day. Okay. A little startled by the new narrator in his life, Mike continued about his day without question. He was even extremely welcoming of the new love in Tony's life and was accommodating and understanding. This is the power outfit choosing part of his morning. One that says, I'm the boss, but I'm still approachable. Uh, why does it have to say that? Because he's the boss. And, you know, he wants to be approachable. And you think the colour of his tie is going to convey that message. Mike, put the coloured shirt back and get out a simple white one. Mike likes cornflakes. Sometimes he has a banana on them. Mm, he looks pretty bored to me. Cornflakes? Well, they're cheap, you know, they're quick. I'm not saying that they're not. I'm just saying that you should mix it up a bit. Didn't you hear about the banana? I'm talking about maybe going out for breakfast, having some bacon and eggs, get a nice coffee, that sort of thing. Cornflakes every day, even home brand. Angela's right, Tony. I'm sick of cornflakes. Okay, well, if you want to go out for breakfast, you're going to have to get up earlier than seven. I mean, you're in charge, mate. Striding confidently, Mike was the picture of masculinity. Master of his domain, it was now time for Mike to become the master of the highways as well. Really? Why not? Yeah, why not? He's just driving to work. I can master it.
and PowerPoint sales performance presentation. Here, I brought you a coffee. Hey Dave, here's one for you too. You guys kick ass. Yeah. Wearing a shirt that didn't make him look so douchey, Mike was once again confident and for good reason. Actually, what's the backstory with the lady that seems to be taking a keen interest in Mike? Where? Who? She was in the coffee shop just before in the blue top. I didn't see anyone. Well, why didn't you say anything? This guy's losing it, man. Should we call HR? I'll call you right back. The simple imaginative meal promised to provide a symphony of flavours. Mike looked mouthwateringly at the special sauce for the potatoes. <sighs> Are you kidding? Look at that thing. It looks about as appetising as the cardboard box that it comes in. You know what? Change your plan. Mike decided that because it was Friday night, he was going to go out. Alone? Yeah. <sighs> it was now or never. Jennifer wasn't going to get a better chance than this. Come on, Jen. Large laugh, I think. Hi. I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Mike. 